I've read a lot of self-help books, but there's only been a few that have really stuck with me. These are the ones that I find myself consistently coming back to, and they've all had a positive, long-lasting impact on my life. Each of these books is filled with timeless wisdom and practical strategies that can actually change your life for the better. In this video, I thought I'd share these five self-improvement books, not only because I've gotten so much value from them, but also because they cover a wide range of topics that I think almost anyone could find beneficial. From communication to anxiety, mindset, creativity, and even sex, there's something in here for everyone. I've even included a couple of bonus books about addiction, so be sure to stick around for those. I truly think that by the end of this video, you'll have discovered at least one book that'll have a positive impact on your life. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is actually one of the first self-help books I ever read, and I still think it's one of the best. Despite this book being written almost a hundred years ago, I still think the advice within it can help anyone become a better communicator. It has great practical tips for effectively talking and more importantly, listening to others. And like the title says, it does explain how to get people to like you. I still find myself reviewing this book before social events or whenever I'm meeting new people. And while this book's advice is not always easy to follow, implementing just some of these strategies can really improve your communication and relationships. So if you're looking to get better at communicating, which let's face it, is at the core of relationships, and you haven't yet read this timeless classic, it's definitely worth doing so. I should also mention that I've actually made in-depth videos for most of the books that I'll be talking about. So if you're interested in learning more about any of them, there'll be links to those videos in the description and also up here in the annotations. This next book has helped me a ton with anxiety and it's called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, also by Dale Carnegie. And I have to say, if I had to own just one self-improvement book, it would probably be this one. I really like how it contains practical strategies that actually work when it comes to overcoming worry and anxiety. Anytime I'm going through an anxious period, I know I can count on these strategies to get me through it, and it's just such a great book to reference during stressful times. It also does a good job at highlighting how important it is to eliminate worry from your life as it explains just how damaging worry and anxiety are to our health. So if you're like me and you really value your health, but you also tend to get a little anxious at times, this book is an invaluable resource to have. It does cover a lot and it's also one of the longest books on this list, but it's definitely worth reading. It's helped me so much with my mental well-being over the past few years, and I really think you'll find it helpful as well. This next one is actually the book I've read most recently, and it's called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. This book is about how to maintain a positive and healthy mindset. It's centered around this idea of these four agreements, which are essentially like four rules to live by. And while they may seem like fairly simple things at first, this book explains how there was a lot of ancient wisdom that went into creating them. My girlfriend was kind enough to frame the four agreements for me, which is really nice because I can review them in the morning and throughout the day. And I find doing this helps keep me in a more relaxed and calm state of mind. I particularly like the don't make assumptions agreement as I tend to do this a lot and being reminded not to helps get rid of unnecessary stress and worry. So yeah, I definitely recommend giving this one a read. There's just a lot of great stories and lessons in here, and it's also a really short and easy read. This next book is also short, but also very good. It's The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, and it's actually the shortest of all the books in this video, with some of the chapters being only one sentence long. And while that might sound weird, it's actually really nice because you can read the entire book in just over a couple of hours. It's the only book that I've read cover to cover multiple times, and it's just so refreshing to read something that's straight to the point. This book is mainly written for anyone on a creative pursuit, whether you're an artist, a writer, a YouTuber, anyone on a creative journey. But I've also found it really helpful for overcoming addictions, laziness, and procrastination. 
because this book is essentially about overcoming resistance and becoming the person you were born to be. Resistance is at the core of what this book is about. So if you've never heard of resistance or you're unsure what it is, I made an entire video about it that you can check out up here. But overall, this book beautifully puts into words the emotions we all experience whenever we pursue something ambitious. So if you're an aspiring artist, or if you're like me and you struggle with procrastination, I definitely recommend reading this amazing short book. The last book is The Way of the Superior Man by David Dita. And while this book talks quite a bit about sex and sexual desire, it also talks about intimate relationships, spirituality, meaning, and purpose. How to Win Friends focuses more on day-to-day -day type relationships, but this book focuses on how to have a successful intimate relationship. It's also centered around the relationship you have with yourself and being in tune with your deeper sense of purpose. This book inspires you to take action, pursue your passion, and become the person you've always wanted to be. It also has some great quotes. One of my favorites is, each wasted moment degrades your clarity of purpose. So if you're looking to gain a deeper understanding of intimate relationships and the relationship you have with yourself, I definitely recommend giving this one a read. I did also want to give a couple of honorable mentions. These two books didn't quite make the list because they're a little too specific, but I did want to mention them as some of you might find them helpful. They both have to do with addiction and they're both by Alan Carr. The first is Smartphone Dumb Phone and the second is Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. You'll pretty much only find this one useful if you're a cigarette or cannabis smoker or a vapor as the kids say nowadays. But if you are, I definitely recommend reading it and checking out the video I made about it up here. But this one, I feel like a lot more people can relate to because it's about overcoming digital and smartphone addiction. If you're a subscriber, you've probably heard me talk about this book and this topic before on the channel, but I wanted to mention it again just because it's such a common problem. This book has helped me so much lately overcoming my own digital addiction, so if you yourself struggle with digital or phone addiction, I definitely recommend checking it out. I found all these books to be super helpful in my own life, and hopefully at least one of them will be helpful in yours. If you have any books you think I should check out, I'd love to hear your recommendations down in the comments section below. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Peace.